So have you figured out what we're making? If you think you know, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments. So today's video was a little bit short, so I thought it might be a perfect opportunity for us to do a Manly Manners. If you're joining us for the first time, Manly Manners is a little book called Don'ts for Husbands written in 1913 that gives us very good politically incorrect advice for relationships. So uh, we'll open up here. I think I have a good one for you. I, I scouted ahead a little bit and I picked this one out. Uh, Page 59, concerning dress, dress. Manly Manners tells us, don't dress carelessly when you are past your first youth. All the more reason to make yourself look as nice as possible to counteract the effects of advancing years. How do we apply that to us today? So I, I uh, well, I can speak for myself. Um, so of course, so when you first start dating, right? You look back when you think about when you first started dating your wife or dating your husband, um, spend a lot of time on appearance and, and you were very selective about, well, most of us were, were, I think, very selective about uh, your hair and, and your fingernails and your shoes were polished and what you wore. Of course, you wanted to put the best foot forward. And you did it uh, not out of a sense of obligation, I think, unless you're, you unless your motives are, were, were not uh, honorable, uh, you did it because you wanted to, um, you wanted to put your best foot forward. You wanted to, you wanted to please the person uh, that you were with. Um, and you wanted to, you, you do, it, did everything in your power uh, to make that happen. Now, uh, fast forward 10, 15, 20 years, uh, that um, familiarity breeds contempt. We've all heard that saying before. What does that mean? Familiarity, familiarity breeds contempt. Meaning that uh, the, this this woman, this man that was so important to us years ago, well, it's easy to take them for granted. And one way we we often do that is by um, becoming kind of maybe lazy or slovenly with our personal appearance. Maybe we don't look after ourselves, or maybe we've put on a few pounds. And I, I've heard this, you know, I've heard this back and forth with both men and women. You know, guy a woman puts on you know fifty hundred pounds and. And then maybe the other, their, their husband or their wife hasn't, and that, that might, there might be a little frustration there. Um, and when, when the, the spouse brings it up, you know, the one that's the offender may say, well, you know, you, you, you're supposed to love me for who I am. You're supposed to love me uh, through good and through bad, through thick and through thin, and, and it shouldn't matter to you um, that I um, don't take care of myself and, and that I have uh, let myself go and I've, I've put on a few pounds. Um, well, that's nonsense. Uh, because when we decided to to become the, the marriage, uh, when we entered into the marriage agreement, that that uh, seems to me is a, is a contract, and uh, the contract meaning that um, I will um, I will uh, do these things for you. I I will um, keep myself in good health so that I'm a good father, a good mother for our children. Um, I'll look after myself and, and I'll eat well and and try not to drink and smoke too much and. And so that I can be around and be a companion and a helpmate to you in, in the advanced years. And I, I, you know, this, 
I, I know pe maybe people won't agree that marriage is a contract, and, and I think that we have been sold a, a, a lot of nonsense through um, media, literature, that uh, um, what tr love is is that uh, that he, that that a massive passion that you experience when you first meet someone when you have that chemistry uh, that um, the the lie I think that we've been told is that is that uh, if that is not maintained for 10 15 20 50 years then you maybe not with the right person there's something wrong with you and so there you have why you have so many celebrities, for example, jumping from, from marriage to marriage to marriage to marriage, always chasing, chasing, chasing that initial I infatuation. And it's, um, it seems to me that that's something that cannot be uh, maintained. Uh, if, if, we have all experienced it, right, of course. Uh, if you were to, if you were to uh, try to maintain that, that, um, that initial passion that you experience for, for another person that you really f are falling in love with, um, it, it affects your work, it affects your sleep, it affects your, e you, you really can't get anything done, it's all you think about. You would never be able to create or to build anything because you would be all consumed with this, this passion and this desire uh, for this person, and which is right and, and, right, right and so. But um, not something that was never intended by God that, that it be maintained. Um, because as you go through life, it, it ch ch uh, changes to different things. Um, and when that initial passion and, and maybe that fades away, it goes to something else. It goes to perhaps friendship or, or companionship and, and it becomes richer and deeper as you experience things. And so I think what the biggest disservice that uh, um, has been paid to so many people is marriage and love being portrayed um, in this way. And, and if it's not happening to you after 10 or 15 years, there's something wrong. And, and I think that's why so, so many people go off chasing that again in hopes of trying to reclaim that and recapture that. Um, and it's just not, um, it's just not realistic. Um, so the con, the contract, you know, back to the contract, the contract is, uh, if I were manufacturing something and, and I contracted with you and you were a supplier of fasteners and we had an agreement and, and, and you had to deliver a certain fastener of a certain quantity and a certain quality and by a certain amount of time, right? And as long as you honor that, that agreement, our contract it is, is, is legitimate. But if you start to be slipping and, and you, the quality of your fasteners come, come down and they no longer fit and, and the, there's not 100 in a box anymore, now there's you know, 80 in a box and, and the delivery times are starting to slip and all that, that contract, that, that, is, that will nullify that contract. So it seems to me that, that we have an obligation as, as a husband and wife, wife and husband, to look after ourselves and honor that contract. Because by gaining 150, 200 pounds, um, not taking care of yourself, and, 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 and because of that acquiring it, a debilitating disease um, that is putting an undue burden on the other person um, isn't fair. And it's um, the breaking of that contract. So uh, are we straying away from the manly manners? But I, th I think, I think we'll, we'll wrap it up here. Do, I, I think, um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.